2024. The Paul Ross Full Set Breakfast on Talk Radio. We'll get you talking. And Johnny is now in the studio where he belongs. I've known him for the longest time. Great broadcaster, sporting expert, genuinely nice person is Johnny Gould. But here this morning on a rather sad, but hopefully in the end, positive mission, Johnny. Good morning. Paul, morning, Carol, morning. Morning. Steve. Yes, I'm here to talk about Striker Boy on this World Mental Health Day 2017. Uh, this is very close to my heart. I'm not your normal spokesman coming in and talking about this. This is very dear to me. This it is, has touched your family life. It really did. And um, uh, this is the um, death of Johnny Zucker, my first cousin's husband, who took his life just like that a year ago, virtually to the day. He was 49. Uh, statistically, uh, the biggest killer of men under the age of 50 is suicide. Um, Johnny battled with uh, severe depression over a period of 20 years. Even uh, though to an outside observer, he was happy, a family man, and successful. Enormously successful, both on a spiritual level, uh, even a material level. You know, he was a children's author. He had been a primary school teacher. He followed his dreams. He did everything. He had three beautiful boys. He dedicated his lovely career to uh, encouraging boys literacy and striker boy i think is his best work i turned around to a very good friend of mine nigel cannon in the wake of his sudden passing and said let's do something in memory of johnny so that his work isn't buried with him and striker boy is that work at strikerboy.com you can order this lovely book for christmas it is six pounds 99 and one pound 40 of it goes to our mental health partner which is mind did you know he was depressed? Yes, but not for the entire period of time. It is one of those taboo subjects. And kind of one of the reasons I'm here today is to kind of say, stop it, everyone. We're not all iron men. Did he talk to you about it as, Only as once. his best friend? Only, Only once. once. In Only a once. friendship that spanned how long? Um, 30 years. And um, he was diagnosed with this um, many, many years ago. Um let me ask you a difficult question, if I might. Yeah. Um, many years ago, I made a little short film, a documentary about teenage suicide amongst boys in particular. And I spoke to a mother who'd never got over the fact that when her son hanged himself when he was 18, um, she said, I did keep talking to him, but I kept saying to him, you are all right, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Rather than saying, what's wrong? And she would have to live with that guilt. I know you don't need to feel guilty, but you feel guilty about that. Gosh, every every single moment that I uh, think about every transaction every discussion every relationship moment with Johnny is now changed by this incident is it, so, be yes. is it because he thought to talk about it signified some kind of weakness some kind of failure in himself is that how men think about depression and mental illness I, I can't get in his head and obviously he was mentally ill but there is this stigma approach to failure, isn't there, mm, in society, yes. particularly among men. Yes. And one of the most important things to say is let's treat mental illness like physical illness. I had an illness myself, which was I'm, I'm not I don't have any mental health problems. However, I did have ulcerative colitis, which I think was triggered by mm -hmm. by stress, uh, by stress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it was a physical manifestation, possibly. Uh, of a mental issue which uh, was solved by lots of operations medication and here I am uh, full of the full of the joys of spring in a way that people who are mentally ill uh, aren't treated and cannot be treated in the same way it is a deeply complex thing we have to do more research and we have to uh, talk about it more and the stigma needs to be diminished the stigma is isn't it still Big boys don't cry. That's I mean, that's, right. that's, that's, that's right. the underlying feeling, isn't it? That's Women right. are much more able to talk about depression and mental illness than men are. Yeah, and that also has to stop it. There are many, many themes about, about this particular campaign, and unfortunately they have all come down to the male line. Even Johnny's book, Strike a Boy, mm. um, is about, on, in part, the relationship between uh, a father and a son whose wife and mother pass away early and this boy is a 13 year old it's a fiction it's a beautiful book mm. it's about a boy who pretends he's 17 and saves his team Hatton Rangers from relegation I wish he'd signed for the villa to be honest, <laughs> but there we go I should remind people the book is called Striker Boy by Johnny Zucker and it's available via I think it's simple publishing isn't too it simple too publishing simple publishing and at strikerboy.com and as you say a guaranteed amount goes to mine the mental health charity I say this as well we're going back to the conversation with Johnny but from nine o'clock mine's information line their confidential information and support line is open 
0300 123 3393. Not just if you're male. 0300 123 3393. Even if you've got questions about somebody in your family or in your life who you might want to help. Because I do. Th- I mean, I'm the oldest of six, but five boys and a girl. And like a lot of men, and this isn't me being blokey, I can tell you straight away my fantasy football team, my top ten favourite movies, greatest sitcoms of all time. And that's the kind of stuff I talk about with my mates in the pub. Yeah. I would talk about anything but my feelings. Mm. And that's been kind of ingrained in me. And I don't know how, I'm, how I could ever get out of that. I think that's absolutely right. And at some point, when it comes to critical matters of life or death and about actually maintaining your life on a decent level, one has to give way and start talking. It was actually very, very personal to this radio station because... I happened to be on a commercial break, my Sunday show, and my mum phoned me to tell me that um, uh, Johnny Zucker had hanged himself. And um, we were coming out of a break. I only answered it because we were in a break. And, and it was your mother, of course. It so. was my mum. And, um, you know, uh, so it, was, it, was, it was literally here in this studio that, um, that this, uh, this very sad story Began. I tell you what, uh, talking about this on air, which is the most public way of um, discussing our mourning as a family, has really educated me in mental health. And um, I don't suppose, even when this campaign comes to an end, my uh, work in uh, mental health and on Striker Boy will actually finish. The, uh, the thing is, it's in the last couple of years, things have improved, haven't they, Johnny, in terms of us talking about it as a nation. I mean, I think, you know, every time a celebrity speaks out, I know that sounds trite, but every time they do... Or the royal family or, or whoever. the royal family, yes, and, and uh, yes, Wills and Harry, it makes a difference because then it becomes less of a stigma. Do you think, that, do you think that's true? I, I think that's uh, uh, so. And, I mean, I was slightly shocked at Prince William and Prince Harry mm. devoting something so deeply personal about the death of their mother to mental health, but I'm glad they did, mm. uh, because actually my journey has uh, has changed too. My perception of it has changed. So actually, all credit to the royal family for uh, you know for, for for actually starting to be human about their life. Mm. Johnny, thank you so much for joining thank us in the studio. Very moving, moving, very frank conversation. Thank the book you. is called Striker Boy. It's by Johnny Zucker, the late Johnny Zucker, sadly published by Two Simple and Guaranteed. Six ninety nine, perfect Christmas present for somebody in the family. One pound forty from every copy sold will be donated to Mind, registered mental health charity. And if you need help information, just someone to talk to after 9 o'clock. Their lines are up between 9 and 6. The Mind information line is 0300 123 3393. Johnny, lovely to see you again. Pleasure. Thank you so much. Johnny Gould on Talk Radio with me, Paul Ross and Carol Malone. It's 8th.